Thank you so much for stopping in. Today we are doing the uh, Oracle Guide Astrology Report for the month of November of 2023. Um, I got disrupted. I, I laid the cards out. I got disrupted. So I'm starting the video all over again. So usually I, I sort the cards before I start the video. <laughs> anyway, um, this month, again, we're going to be giving you four segments. The first segment is the over the underlying energy for the month of November. We're going to give you the overall message for the month of November. This month, I'm going to do what you need to know most guidance. And then the fourth segment is going to be a stone, crystal, or metal to help you navigate the month. I'm using, uh, for the first one, I'm going, for the first uh, underlying energy, I'm going to be using this uh, Oracle of Seven um, deck. I'm going to use the tea leaf deck for uh, the second segment, which is the overall message. And then I'm going to be using, I'm thinking, no, for the overall message, I'm going to be using these cards. <laughs> and uh, what you need to know most, I'm going to be using the this the wizard the wizard tarot. I usually don't use tarot, but um, I'm going to try this these this deck today and see how it works. So the overall energy, the underlying energy for the month of November of 2023. These are the cards, and um, they will be the pictures of the layouts will be uh, on the Patreon channel. I'll leave it link that's the first card the sec uh, that says broken open uh the second card is shining through the third card is body and soul call of the muse is the next card spirit of gratitude hope you can see these pretty good spirit of gratitude and then the land between. Okay. Um, just as a reminder, I am an in, uh, a intuitive trans channeler through automatic writing. When I do these, when I do these um, oracle readings, I'm an intuitive oracle reading. So, and and I receive the channeling, uh, an intuitive oracle channeling. Um, so. I lay the cards out and then I start getting the messages. The message that I'm receiving right now is there is a ser the month of November you're going to experience a substantial battle of opposites. Uh, there is a fissure of sides, a fissure of sides. It's it's a separation of sides. And there is no desire to understand either side. So this month, the month of November, is going to be challenging in that Nobody wants to listen to the other side of the story. If it's in a personal relationship, if it's in a business matter, if it is in a child-parent relationship, if it's in negotiations, These are the other cards that came up. Although the fissure exists, you will be able to, and this is all signs, you will be able to, uh, this open up card, they're pointing at this card, the opening up, uh, a broken open, um, they're pointing at this card and they're saying, even though it's going to be a battle of opposites, what you will gain from that 
while you keep a clear, smooth head, you will come to the understanding of, even though you're battling, you'll, un- you'll come to the understanding of each side, even though you don't want to hear the other side. By, by this happening, by this energy of the month of November, by that happening, you are getting to the point where you understand. You understand the other side. And it gives you, it gives you the inspiration to really center in on your life. It really gives you that sense of of kind of bullheadedness without being the bullheadedness that keeps you at this at this division. And then it leads you to the understanding of both sides. The next, um, that's the next card. Uh, That's a powerful move, exposed and revealed. A higher view. And divine matrix. And then these are the underlying cards. Underlying energy cards for for the the, the under this is the underlying energy for the month. And then I'm I've got some underlying energy for the underlying energy. That's not confusing at all, is it? (laughs) So then um energetically on the underlying energy is that there's still some power plays being made. And I, it's, it's kind of pointing governmentally in the hierarchy of businesses. There are power moves that they still think they should be making. And that is such and, and that is a false premise in the new energy. The false premise is that you can still do power moves and control people in the new energy. In the new energy, you cannot do that. In the new energy, that's not acceptable. And in the new energy, which more and more people are getting, coming to realize that they're they're coming to realize that there's a new energy, a new benevolent energy coming, uh, permeating the earth. Um, Those power plays that they think they can make, but they can still make, that, you know, um, are revealed. They're exposed and revealed. They're exposed and revealed. So even though the powers that be are are doing those power plays on people, on humanity, on countries, on the earth, even though they're doing that, humanity, people, earth, all see it as it being exposed because they've taken a higher view of the whole situation. Humanity is getting, is at the point where there are more and more people, more and more people are seeing what's been going on from a higher point of view. And that is part of the divine matrix change. The divine matrix change is the golden era coming. It's the revealing of right from wrong. It's the creating your own foundation so that you can maneuver 
your life and see the outside for what it is, <clears throat> what applies to you and what does not apply to you. And then I pick the next three cards. Um, as So what's underlying this underlying energy and what's underlying this underlying laying energy are three cards. It's the time machine. And the time machine is telling me that it's time. We've talked about the three-year mission is at hand. There's two and a half years mission is at hand. There's two and a half years left. And the time machine, it's reminding us that time is continuing. It's ticking along. It's, it's, it's doing, it, it's moving along. We're moving along with it. And to let, to do the work you need to do because the time is ticking along and it will eventually get to the point where the golden era, I mean, right now, golden era energy is around, but then healing of the heart, time, time is healing the heart. And then you're an awakened genius. So it's really just giving us the overall um, energy that even though there's there's budding heads, even though there's a battle of opposites going on, even though there's a fissure, that there seems to be no connection from in many different situations. We are being, we're advancing along to use our intuitions and to um, appreciate all of the things that we have been going through and being revealed, the things that have been being revealed. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these like this so that I can take a picture of those. The next segment is the overall message. And for that, I used this deck of cards, of Oracle cards, one of my favorites lately. <laughs> and um, I'll just lay them out the way I received them. I'm sorry that I had to do this, but I had it all organized. And then I got a phone call and I had to go. Wow. Okay, so... Let's see what we're getting here. There are, there is a lot of healing going on right now. The month of November, there will be a lot of healing in your personal life. You will see more clearly which direction you're going. You don't really feel like you have to fight, but but you're getting that um, the first chakra energy that motivates you to blaze your path, blaze your trail, because you definitely have the strength. You have some reconciliations coming. That leads you to a, a really balanced life. A, a feeling that, that the no month of November is really giving you a balance that you haven't really felt before, even though all the underlining underlying underlying energy is all chaotic, but not I mean, but not so bad. <laughs> the overall message is saying that there is a lot of energy that has come in to humanity that helps you heal on a personal level so that you you're sensing that your your path your journey is really what it is what you want it to be your journey is what you want your journey to be. It's not, 
oh, I wonder if my journey is good or if I'm on my right journey or anything like that. You're really getting the sense that you are on your right path and that you have the strength and the energy to really pursue the directions that you want to go and um, making your life really what it, what you want it to be. Because it's the happy family card. I mean, really, it's the message coming through for this is that you've been working towards healing and happiness and you're really going to get it and it'll make you happy. And then the next one is the magician in the mirror. This is the overall message for the month of November. Deceit. The Temple Path. And then these are the underlying energy cards. We are being warned that there might be some influence, some deceitful influence that that appears to be benevolent. For just a moment. It's not like you go on for days and days and you think, oh, this is really a good deal. This is really a good relationship. This is really good business opportunity. <clears throat> this is a really good romantic relationship starting. It'll, from the very beginning, you will know that there's some deceit going on. And we're just being warned about, warned, not warned about, but warned about. that there can be some smoke and mirrors, there's some deceit, but that eventually and quickly, it's not going to be a slow moving realization. It's going to be a fast realization. You think, well, oh, this is a great business opportunity. And almost instantly within a day, within a couple of days, not weeks or months, you realize that it's not what it was cracked up to be. But that in that realization, you know that you are in control of your life. You are in control of your life. And that realization that there was some deceit comes fast because you're allowing yourself to intuitively recognize one from another, that discernment, that you're you're able to discern the right from wrong, the the Maybe not initially you read the energy wrong, you read the message wrong, but quickly you realize that <clears throat> that was the question was clarified, the relationship was clarified, and and so you don't get really deep in uh, with your heart along your path in pursuit of your path. Because that is where you're going. You are you are going down a very good energy uh, for the month. It's very strong energy. It's very trustworthy energy. So even though these are the next, these are the underlying for the, um, this is the overall message. These are the underlying energy for the overall message. Um, is the fifth chakra uh, appreciation and hostilities. So the underlying message for the overall energy for the month of November of 2023, this is the transmission I'm getting. Even though energies are disjointed for the month of November, you will whittle it down to what's most important. You're not going to be wasting your energies on um, useless things, useless battles useless time wasters, useless 
distractions. Even though the energy is disjointed, you're not going to be wasting your wasting your time on the non-essential distractions. You will need to take off your battle gear. To, for your own self appreciation, in order to let the magic of your life enter into being, manifesting, and that overall you really are on a mission of healing, of happiness, with strength and appreciation. From the chaoticness of the month, you will find answers. You will find solutions. And stay in a very strong balance personally in business in relationships in family in what you want most to do and be let's see that's the underlying so that's the overall message for the month of November of 2023. Um, the next segment is what you need to know most. I wanted to uh, also touch on the new moon, the, the full moon and the new moon. The full moon is going to be November 27. The full moon is going to be November 27th. It's in the sign of Gemini. Um, so at during that time of the month, at the end of the month, you want you will want to focus on articul articulating your um your wishes, articulating your dreams, making them clear to yourself and everybody around you if you need to. And you may feel like you need to spontaneously change for the sake of change. And, and, uh, but you will find that as a, an urge to do something like that. Uh, mostly you will want to, you'll be, you'll want to, you'll have the, the need to communicate. And during that time of the month, it will be easier to communicate and be more talkative. And it'll also be an easier time for you to express your feelings. The new moon is going to be November 20, sorry, November 13th. It is in the sign of Scorpio. And the energy of the new moon is going to be, it can be really intensely emotional. Um, you may you may react in a more sharp and abrupt way. So you might want to watch out for that when you're dealing with other people. You'll also be more introspective about figuring your, figuring out what your plans are, figuring out your emotions, figuring out your relationships. And your finances. Okay, the next segment, uh, please, just as a reminder, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. The next segment is what you need to know, know most, and I'm using the Wizard Tarot for this. I'm really not a tarot reader, but um, I'm going to use these just as an oracle-type 
energy. Um, the first card is that one. And like I said, I will post these on these layouts. It's looking quite um, kind of harsh. Uh, then this is the Nine of Pentacles. The beautiful cards. It's the Five of Swords. The Nine of Swords. Just a second. Sorry. Okay. What you need to know most for the month of November is as you try to move forward, as you try to move forward, it's going to feel like every step is resistance and that you're tied up. It's one thing or another. You're trying to move forward and you seem to be tied up because you just can't move forward. Um, you just can't seem to be moving forward. I apologize. But you do have details about what it is that is tying you up. You're just not recognizing them. You're not paying attention to um, what you know. You're not paying attention to your intuitions. You're looking at all the bad things that have happened in the past, and that's why you are being you're feeling resistance. Um, and but you do have the knowledge. You do have the intuitive knowledge that you need to overcome that resistance, you just have to open up your eyes and look for it. And you have to stop being, this is what you need to know most for the month of November. You have to stop being um, seeing all the bad news. You got to stop seeing all the bad news. You got to step out and say, I need to, I, I can't keep battling myself. I can't keep putting myself into a situation that's really unhealthy. I can't keep listening to the stuff that's really um, negative. Because intuitively, you know that it's manipulated. And, but because you are putting, you're letting that preoccupy your mind you are feeling that resistance. You're feeling like you're bound up. You're looking at all the negative th stuff that's been happening in the past. You're looking at all the negative and you're not seeing the positive. So what you need to do, uh, the next card is the five of wands. You need to realize that you do have guides. You do have universal energy. You do have knowledge that you have. Uh, the next one is the sun. <laughs> That's good. And the intemperance. What you need to know most is that you are your own teacher. You just need to listen to yourself. You need to recognize your intuition. You need to realize that the um, it's all going to turn out right. It's all going to turn out to your best expectations. And that you just have to give it some time, let it flow, get rid of all that negative energy that you've been preoccupied with, that the light is really changing outside today. 
And as you let it flow, it's going to start coming that the fact that you think that you're bound, that you have resistance and everything, all of that resistance, all of the tension, all of the negative thinking will go away because you have realized that you're on your path to the um, to repairing all that resistance that you've been putting onto yourself. Nope. Okay, so now we're going to do the stone crystal or metal to help you navigate the month of November 2023. The best. That was it on that fourth section. Uh, for this, the stone crystal or metal, I'm using this crystal for beginners. It's just a really pretty deck. Uh, the Jasper. To help you navigate the month of November. And the what Red Jasper is telling us how to navigate the month is it um, encourages assertiveness, replaces organizational or embrace embrace organizational skills and promotes self honesty and boost creativity it assists assists dream recall and out of body journeying so the red jasper is an earth energy And that earth energy gives us the energy to be able to navigate the discord that's happening, navigate the, the realizations and what was that word? The realizations, the, the things that are being exposed and revealed and the fissure between the land and the uh, the fissure between all parties. It helps us be able to ground ourselves enough to stay stable while all this other chaos is going on. What I'm seeing right now is is kind of land, but it's it's like that that really bad Halloween thing that that you that goes up and down, and you're trying to walk, and it's going up and down, and um, but this, the red jasper is telling us that we can just use red jasper to stabilize our energy, stabilize our energy so that we can move forward along our path without losing our direction, without losing our direction. That's what they're saying. Because all that chaos, all of the Disconnection is is making us wonder, but don't wonder because your intuition is going to guide you correctly for your own self. So uh, that's that was that last thing that they said. But what I want to say is, it's going to be a chaotic month if you allow it. There's some really good things in the month that come up also. I mean, there's some very good things. Things are exposed, but we're also being led by, you know, we're awakening our genius. We're awakening ourselves and we're healing our heart. We also know that the time, time has to go. Time has to happen. And things really get good. Things really are good. That's what I'm getting right now. Things really are good. It's just the perception of all these negative things are are hampering hampering us. They're holding us 
They're restricting us. They're holding us down. And it's just the impression that we're being given. So if we trust our intuition, we will know that we are our own teacher. The that the sun comes up. That's an awesome card to have, right? And that we just have to let the let it let things flow without resisting it, without us adding any resistance to it. So use use um red jasper. Keep it at your desk, keep it in your pocket, wear it. There's rings, there's jewelry, earrings. So just take this month in stride. Take the month of November in stride. I will try to do individual signs to see how that relates to this layout. But um, there's going to be some challenges. You just have to overcome them and know that they are being perpetrated on us, not it happening to us because we've done something. It's happening because that energy is being created around us. <laughs> That's it for the month of November of 2023. No, this is an overall uh, oracle astrology channeling. So thank you so much for stopping in. Please like and share my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate all of you who are sub subscribers. Um, I will put these layouts on Patreon again. I'll, I'll say that again. And um, have a great month. I'll try to do individual signs, but have a great month. And um, please stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. <laughs>